Hi, I am Lennart from WP Staging. Today I will show you how to fix the 500 internal server error in WordPress. We have prepared a list of possible reasons for this error and a step-by-step -step guide to bringing back your WordPress website as fast as possible. I will show you that on my computer. Just one thing before I proceed. In the future you can avoid this and other errors by using the free plugin WP Staging. This plugin can clone your website and you can test new plugins, themes and other updates in a secure environment without affecting your production site. You can find the link in the video description down below. I am going to explain many steps in this video which can be challenging to follow. So to help you even further I have released a written version of this video on our website. You can also find this link in the video description. Whenever you get a fatal error 500 on your WordPress website, the first straightforward solution is to reload the website. It may be the case that the server is overloaded and the site can load properly when you refresh the browser a few times. So when you are opening your website and a fatal server error is displayed, the easiest and first thing you should do is to reload the page by pressing F5. If that is not successful, press Ctrl and F5. Another possible solution which is also very easy to implement is to clear the browser cache. This video shows how the cache is cleared on Google Chrome, since Chrome is currently the most widely used browser. You can find instructions for all other relevant browsers in our article linked in the video description. To clear the Google Chrome cache, do the following. On top of the Chrome window, click on the three dots icon. Then select Settings, scroll down to Privacy and Security, choose Clear Browsing Data, then check Cookies and other site data and cached images and files, and from the time range select All Time. The last step is to click the Clear Data button. If you still get that error, you need to get more information about the reason for the error. So you can tell your WordPress website to write more explicit error messages into a so-called log file for debugging purposes. First of all, access the wp-config.php file. You can find the file in the root folder of your WordPress installation. Use the Web Hosting Control File Manager or an FTP program like FileZilla to edit the file. Open the file wp-config.php and add the following lines of code to it. If this works, you will see all the relevant errors in the file debug log. That will help you to find out what plugin or code causes the error. You can find the log file at the location wp-content slash debug log in your website's file system. Open the debug file and check it. Suppose you see some error messages related to one of your installed plugins. In that case, you can disable the plugin by renaming the plugin directory to something like wp-content slash plugin slash plugin name minus temp. If no results are given in the debug log, there is still the option of accessing the main server error log file. Depending upon what kind of web server your hosting provider uses, you can find the server error log file in the following path. To access these files, you will need to have full access to your hosting. You can use an FTP client and troubleshoot with the help of these files. If you cannot directly access these files, ask your hosting provider how you can access them. The error may also happen due to some faulty code in the htaccess file. That file is located in your WordPress site's root directory and is essential to make your website run properly. To troubleshoot your htaccess, we need to disable the current one and create a new one. First of all, use FTP or the File Manager app in your hosting account to connect to your site. You can find the htaccess file beside the folders wp-admin, wp-includes and wp-content. Rename the file to htaccess-backup to have a backup of the file if something goes wrong. Then create a new file and name it htaccess. Add the following lines of code into it.
Sometimes the error 500 occurs because of the low memory limit of PHP in WordPress. To resolve this error, you may have to increase the memory limit. This adjustment can be made with FileZilla via FTP. Open the wp-config.php file and enter the line define wp memory limit directly below the line define wp debug false. If a lack of memory was your issue, this will fix the internal server error for you. If you recently installed a plugin and it broke your site, there is a chance that you can deactivate the plugin to fix the error. Please note that you can use the following step only if your WordPress admin dashboard under example.com slash wp admin is still available. If the dashboard is no longer accessible, please select the timestamp for the next step in the video description down below in which we will install the plugins via FTP. Open the WordPress dashboard and go to the plugin section in the sidebar menu. Select all plugins, click on bulk actions and on deactivate to deactivate all plugins. Activate the plugins one by one and reload your site after each plugin activation. If you see the error again, deactivate or remove that plugin which causes the problem. If your WordPress admin dashboard is not available, you can disable a specific plugin by renaming its plugin folder to something else manually. To do this, connect to your site via FTP. For instance, if the WooCommerce plugin is responsible for error 500 internal server error, you will need to rename the folder WP content slash plugins slash WooCommerce to WP content slash plugins slash WooCommerce minus disabled. After that step, the WooCommerce plugin will be disabled and you can reaccess your website. If you want to disable all plugins, rename the folder WP content slash plugins to WP content slash plugins minus temp. Then all plugins will be disabled and your site should be reachable again. After that step, rename the folder WP content slash plugins minus temp back to the original name WP content slash plugins. In the last approach, we are going to repair the WordPress application. Sometimes, especially in older sites, WordPress files can be corrupt. If the WordPress core system is corrupt, you need to repair the core files by replacing them with the original ones. Go to wordpress.org and download the latest copy of WordPress from there. Once downloaded, unzip it. After that, connect to your host using your FTP client or using the file manager within your hosting account. Replace the entire folders WP admin and WP includes within your WordPress installation with the ones from the extracted zip file. To do that, rename the current folders WP admin and WP includes to WP admin backup and WP includes backup. Upload the new directories from the unzipped file to the same location as the old directories. This step should fix the server error 500 for you. There are a few uncommon issues with internal server errors in WordPress. At this point you have to contact your host. Sometimes these issues can be resolved by the hosting provider by looking at the file permissions and other settings. If this still does not solve your issue, you may have to switch to another more optimized host to run your WordPress website. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can reach me in the comment section down below this video. If you like this video, it's much appreciated if you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you like to watch more WordPress tutorials, find new plugins, or if you want to learn more about WordPress at all. Thank you for choosing WP Staging and thank you for trusting us.